Hey everybody, how you doing? You'll have to excuse my voice uh, if it sounds off. I've been kind of sick all week. Uh, you'll also have to excuse any coughing fits that may happen, but I didn't want to delay this any further. So, uh, this is a brief introduction to my LP of Quest for Glory, the entire series. Quest for Glory is a very unique video game series. Uh, it comes to us from the golden age of adventure gaming. It's uh, right up there with the other Sierra Quest games, your, your King's Quests, your Space Quests, your Leisure Suit Larry Quests. Um, but it, it does stand out as being something special and something unique. Uh, a lot of games nowadays claim to be a blend of genres. They claim to be uh, action, adventure, or uh, puzzle adventure, puzzle action. Usually they're not. They throw out a few little tidbits to one genre so they can claim to be a blend, and they're not. This game truly is an adventure RPG hybrid. Uh, and it, the way it works is amazing. You pick your class, and we'll go through that. For this playthrough, I will be playing a straight magic user playthrough. No cross-classing, no switching it up. Straight magic user. Uh, I tend to prefer the thief, actually, but I've done a straight thief playthrough uh, about a year ago, so I want to try something different, and the magic user is pretty interesting. Uh, but we'll get into the differences between the three classes, and the, later the four classes and all that, during the videos. But just the heads up, we'll be doing a straight magic user playthrough, which involves a lot of problem solving and lateral thinking, and what spells can I use to get out of this situation. Now, the way the game works is you have stats, uh, strength, intelligence, uh, and skills, uh, climbing, throwing, so on and so forth. Uh, each class has different skills that they have and that they don't have. They all have the same stats, and you level these things up by using them. The downside to this system, which is really good, is that it does occasionally require repetitive grinding. For example, say you're trying to climb a tree for one reason or another, but your climbing stat really sucks, and since we're starting out in the first game, most of our stats are gonna kinda suck. You have to climb the tree multiple times until your stats are high enough for you to succeed. You'll just Climb tree, climb tree, climb tree, climb tree, and then you'll succeed. Now, you'll wear down your stamina, maybe you have to take a break or drink a potion. Uh, so, to make this playthrough a little bit better, I will use this very specific cut for grinding. You won't miss any action, but when you see this cut, that means all I did was the last thing you saw a couple more times, maybe drink a potion, you haven't missed anything, just building up my stats so I can accomplish the goal. And I'm going to grind a bit more in the first game than is strictly necessary, which means you'll see more of those cuts hopefully in the first game than in the rest, because this game series, uh, in what I honestly think was the first of its kind, at the end of each game lets you save your character and their stats to import into the next one. And there's little tiny bonuses for importing your character from game to game. Uh, Nothing significant, but little bonuses. Uh, plus, it's an easy way to unlock the fourth hidden class, which we'll address later. So, you have a basic yeah you have a basic idea of Quest for Glory now. Uh, the first game we are starting out as a young man who wants to be a hero. We've done all of the correspondence courses for the he for the famous adventurers correspondence school. And now we are ready to go out and be a hero. And to be the best hero we can be, we go to the city of Spielberg, which has been having some issues. Uh, the first game has a very Germanic setting. Each game has a, a specific setting type. This is very Germanic. So, uh, I think I can cover everything else in the videos. I hope you guys really like this. Uh, I'd like to eventually do LPs of all of the great Sierra Quest games. Uh, and maybe come back and do other classes in the Quest for Glory. Because 
the different classes really do have different adventures. The thief, uh, the thief has break-in houses in almost every game, and thieves guilds, and quests appropriate to him. The fighter, I think, is the most boring. Uh, it's definitely more RPG when you're playing as the fighter, because it's less problem-solving, more brute strength. It's more building up your stats, it's more fighting monsters. Uh, I've never done a straight fighter playthrough. I've always cross-classed. Um, and then the paladin is kind of fighter plus. Uh, he gets some extra nifty stuff. Uh, it might actually be worth doing as a straight playthrough. But, uh, we'll cover all that in the videos. I think we're good to go. And with that, let's go ahead and start Quest for Glory 1. So you want to be a hero.